Hey guys, in this video we are showing off our floor mat switches and how to wire them up to get some digital input and digital output going on your Arduino. So these are great. We sell a lot of them. People use them for a lot of fun different things. Anything from counting people that are walking through doors to uh, Halloween scare tactics, um, things of that nature. Basically, it's a floor mat switch. It's just a big, big switch. You can see inside here that we have metal strips that are running across and you've got some metal strips that are running up and down the sides. So each one of these is a switch on its own, but they're all wired together with the strips on the side. You can actually cut these to size um, for as many strips as you want. So you could have one strip or you could have a runner that's <clears throat> five feet long if you want to. You can't cut it this way, obviously, but you can cut it this way. So in order to wire one of these up, you can see I have a black wire taped along the edge here, and that is soldered to this metal strip on this side. And then I have a white wire soldered to this strip on this side. And then you can see that I've tied them up to a sensor cable. I've got uh, some length here, and then it goes into our sensor shield as a digital input. So that's how you wire one of these up. Now, this does take some weight to get triggered. Um, I believe it's around 60 pounds for the main mat. And so it means you can put it underneath uh, an actual floor mat, and it won't get triggered until someone steps on it. And the way it works is there's two pieces of metal here that are sort of concave with little pieces of foam in between. And then when you have enough weight and it's closed, then it makes contact. So our setup here uh, is a couple different outputs mounted to a workbench. Uh, we have a sensor shield here on top of a Geek Duino. And we have uh, our output. So the code is just looking for this uh, digital input to close. We're using an internal pull-up resistor. You'll see that in code. And when that happens, it sends the signal uh, out to the digital out, sends a high out, and then you get your result. So you just heard that we have the buzzer there. So that's one thing that you could do for an output. If I go ahead and just move this over, I've got an LED. You can see if that's going on. And another thing that you could do is hook it up to a relay, which could run other things like lights, motors, um, whatever it is that you want to attach. You can see here I've got a motor hooked up. So I have a separate power supply that runs through the relay, and the contact is made once you step on the switch. And lastly here, I have a power switch tail hooked up to a lamp. So if I put my output up to that, you can see when I hit, we step on the, the switch, the lamp goes on. So that's just a couple different output uh, examples. You can do anything you want, of course. Uh, but that's how to hook up a floor mat switch to an Arduino and get uh, physical input from somebody walking around and different types of output. So to demonstrate the floor mat in action, I'm just throwing a simple setup together here. So you can see that we've got our awesome robot welcome mat. We throw it underneath there. It's going to be covered up in front of a door or something of that nature. You can see I have the same setup that we have in the video here. It's turning into a power tail. What we plugged in is one of Kyle's cool little interactive uh, robot art projects. So if someone comes in, steps on top of it, turns on the relay, and this guy starts dancing to welcome anyone who comes in. So there's the floor mat switch. 